Okay, guys, check this out. This, somebody made a game or, or a simulator that you can launch an asteroid where you live and it will show uh, the devastation and the destruction. <laughs> Amazing, right? Okay, so like let's let's play around with this. I think this is gonna be great. This is gonna be awesome. Let's play around with this. Okay. New York. I mean, let's start with New York, right? Should we just go right right in there? Right into Manhattan? Where's Manhattan? Is it Manhattan? I forget. Where's Manhattan? Is it down? Oh Manhattan's here. Manhattan Island. Okay, okay, okay. Let's okay, let's let's start. We know where it is. Right here. Um, so we've got an iron asteroid. Oh, stone, carbon, comet. Well, I like I like that we gotta select different things. I guess iron is probably what the most uh the most um uh, usable. By the way, this website is neil.fun. So thank you Neil for uh, creating this. This is amazing. So let's find out what happens to Manhattan when we launch an asteroid at it. Let's go. Right there. Right there. Here we go. Boom. Look at the destruction. A 5.6 mile wide crater. An estimated 782,000 people would be vaporized. The crater is 1,800 feet deep. Oh my God. Nine gigatons of TNT. More energy was released than a hurricane releases in a day. An impact this size happens on average every 134,000 years. So does somebody want to check when the last one of these was, please? Thank you. Oh my God. The fireball. Oh my, oh my God. Look at that, the fireball. 8.3 mile wide fireball. An estimated 9 million people would die from fireball. An estimated 290,000 people Receive third degree burns. Oh, good God. 50% fatalities in that area. Third degree burns in that area. Second degree burns. Oh my God. What's this now? 241 decibel shock wave. An estimated 2 million people would die from the shock wave? Wow. Anyone within 25 miles would likely receive lung damage. Anyone within 32 miles would have ruptured eardrums. Oh my god, please tell me this never happens. Buildings within 56 miles would collapse. Homes within 75 miles would collapse. Good lord. Look at the wind speed. 8,500 miles an hour wind speed. Oh my god. A million people would die from the wind blast. That's insane. What? Wind within 17 miles would be faster than storms on Jupiter. Oh my god, that's crazy. Homes within 28 miles would be leveled. 49 miles would feel like being inside an EF5 tornado. 45 miles. All trees within 81 miles would be done. And then an earthquake. <laughs> oh shit. This is this is some uh, this is some asteroid. My my goodness, An estimated thirteen. Well, everyone's already dead. Everyone's already dead from the burning, from the impact, from the shock wave, and from the wind. There's no one left to die from the earthquake. An estimated thirteen thousand people would die from the earthquake, and you would feel the earthquake a hundred and forty miles away. That is absolutely insane. Uh, let's hope that never happens. Please. Now let's try something else. Let's let's blow something else up. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm near Toronto, so let's try Toronto. I'm Toronto, man. Get in there. How do we... Okay, wait. I think we have to do a new one. Okay, new. Try a new one, right? Boom. Toronto. Let's try a new uh, a goal. No, you know what? Let's try... I'm just trying to think, like, what weighs more, you know? Carbon. Carbon's got to be pretty... Uh... Is there ice? Comet. There's lots of comets. Let's pretend a comet hits us. A big one. 2,500 feet comet. Same impact angle, same everything else. Let's see what happens. Okay, boom. Okay. I mean, there's less people, but that's because we're in Toronto. Okay, way less. So a comet is way less than an iron. I mean, must be the... Does it melt? Or what? Because that's way less of a... Uh, I mean, sorry everyone in Yorkville. In Church and Wesley in Midtown. Apologies for everyone on St. Clair, Queen West, but 
Uh, you had a good run. You guys had a good run. I mean, if you look at it this way, the, uh, where are we here? Where the heck? Where the heck are we? Look at it. Is that what, is that the, no, I was, I was trying to think. Where, where the heck is this, the Rogers Center, the Sky Dome? That's got to be right there. I can't tell, though. It survived. It survived the initial blast anyways. Okay. So, much smaller being a comet. So, only 3.7 wide, uh, mile wide crater. Four gigatons of TNT. Uh, this happens every 83,000 years. Please don't tell me. When was the last time these things happened? I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Fireball. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I mean, I'm familiar with the area, so this is impressive to me. This is insane, actually. We would just... Everyone... Jeez. Is that a bigger fireball than the last one? Through almost 3 million people will die from the fireball. Wow. Shockwave. I think the shockwave is less. Jeez. That's just insane to think. The, the power of that. Like, look at... Like, when you zoom out on the Earth, right... It's tiny. It's tiny. But like that does not look tiny. Like that much. Oh my god. Good lord. Ten thousand mile an hour wind. Holy moly! I think this was bigger. I think this was the impact of this or something. Yeah. Wow. So there you have it. Neil dot fun slash asteroid dash launcher. Uh, Neil.fun, you've made an amazing uh, little thing. Very cool. It's fun. You put the you put the dot fun in fun. Uh, so thanks for that. That was very cool. Very cool little asteroid uh, simulator. So needless to say, let's hope this never happens, despite it happening every so often. And uh, very cool little web app you made there. I I really enjoyed it. If you guys want to check that out? Go check it out.